Hi guys, and welcome back to yet another fascinating video by Mega Projects and Skyscrapers. We all know how some mighty skyscrapers have truly added to the grace of the world's beauty and continue to do so. And of course, we also know of the iconic Burj Khalifa that is worldwide famous for its sky-kissing height. But do we know what other skyscrapers are also lost in the clouds? Today, on this channel, we will be telling you about the tallest buildings in the world. But before we begin, you know the drill. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel to watch some of the most exciting and fun videos. Also, hit the bell icon to receive notifications about our new ones. Number 10. International Commerce Center 484 meters or 1,588 feet we have the International Commerce Center in Hong Kong at number 10 on the list. A 108-story skyscraper, it was designed to be the tallest building globally, but the height had to be peeled down because of the local regulations that forbid buildings from climbing higher than the surrounding mountains. Formed in 2010, the building flaunts a Ritz-Carlton Hotel, commercial offices, a shopping mall, a five-star eatery, and an observatory called Sky 100, but even though it could not be the highest building globally, the International Commerce Commerce Center does stand out for something else. The building holds a Guinness World Record in its name for the largest light and sound show on a single building. Its famous LED lighting and music shows use a total of 50,000 square meters and can be seen twice a night. Number 9. Shanghai World Financial Center 492 meters or 1,614.2 feet Next up, we have the Shanghai World Financial Tower located in the Pudong District of Shanghai. The 101-floor building building assists a major center of international finance and trade and includes offices, hotels, conference rooms, observation decks, and ground floor shopping plazas. Mirroring a bottle opener, the skyscraper is known for its iconic opening at the top, and you can even buy practical bottle opener replicas of the tower in the observations gift shop. The Shanghai World Financial Center excelled in September 2007, and the next year it was delegated by architects as the year's best completed tower. The the building was built by American architecture firm Cone Peterson Fox. Number 8. Taipei 101 509.2 meters or 1,671 feet Taipei 101 is a contemporary icon in Taiwan which blends today's technology with Asian traditions designed to resist typhoons and earthquakes. The tower has characteristic blue-green glass curtain walls and many of the design components incorporate fabulous Asian symbolism and feng shui philosophy. For example, its 101 floors symbolize the resurrection of time and the bright yellow gleam at its top is regarded as a welcoming torch that also symbolizes liberty. Taipei 101 endured the title of the tallest building in the world from its conclusion in 2004 to completing Dubai's Burj Khalifa in 2010. Today, it has been bestowed by leadership in energy and environmental design as the tallest and largest green building in the world. Number 7. CTF Finance Center, Guangzhou, China 530 meters or 1,740 feet At number 7 is another Chinese megatall skyscraper. The CTF Finance Center is the other of the two Guangzhou Twin Towers positioned in Tianhe District and overlooking the Pearl River. The first was developed in 2010 and the CTF Finance Center also recognized the Chao Tai Fuk Finance Center or Guangzhou Zhong East Tower was opened in 2016. The construction is a mixed-use urban complex with 111 floors consisting of a conference center, offices, a shopping mall, residential suites, an observatory, and a Rosewood Hotels and Resorts Hotel spanning the 16 top floors. The tower has underground connections to public transportation and second-level bridges to connect to adjacent buildings. Number 6. One World Trade Center 541 meters or 1,776 feet The One World Trade Center, located in Lower Manhattan, New York City, is the biggest and one of the most epic buildings in the United States. In the aftermath of 9-11, it was composed by David M. Childs to become a declaration and the centerpiece of the New York skyline. The 104-story building comprises offices, restaurants, broadcast and antenna facilities, and an observation deck with breathtaking scenes of Manhattan. Life safety operations and sustainability have been consolidated into the building's composition with renewable energy, dense fireproofing, and rainwater reuse. The One World Trade Center also holds a national September 11 memorial and museum in the redesigned World Trade Center Transportation Hub. Number 5. Lot World Tower, Seoul, South Korea, 555 meters or 1,821 feet. Next up is Lot World Tower. 
a 123-floor skyscraper located near Seoul Sun River in the Sin Chong Dong neighborhood. It's next to the first-generation Lot World Complex, which was initiated in 1989 and contains a theme park, movie theaters, and a shopping mall. After 13 years of planning and developments, the tower was topped off at the end of 2015, and all surface construction was completed in March 2016. However, the building is not open to the public yet. With a total of 123 floors, the interior will accommodate retail outlets, residences, a luxury hotel, private office spaces, and public access floors at the top, along with an observation deck. Number 4. Ping An International Finance Center, Shenzhen, China, 599 meters or 1,821 feet. At number 4, we have another Chinese project, which is not finished yet. The Ping An International Finance Center was topped out in April 2015, making it the second largest skyscraper in China and the fourth tallest building in the entire world. Initially, the finance center was projected to surpass the Shanghai Tower and become the tallest building in China. However, the 60-meter antenna intended to be at the top was dropped at the beginning of 2015 because of the opportunity of it hindering flight paths. The construction is located within the central business district of Shenzhen, China. Its 115 stories will hold the headquarters of Ping An Insurance, hotel rooms, offices, retail spaces, a high-end shopping mall, and an observation deck at the top. Seems like China is hitting off with some incredible structures. Number 3. Mecca Royal Clock Tower Hotel, Mecca, Saudi Arabia, 601 meters or 1,972 feet. And finally, in the top three, we have the Maka Royal Clock Tower Hotel, also known as the Abraj al Ba'id Towers. It is a government-owned structure with great significance to the culture and society of Saudi Arabia. Located just a stone throw away from Islam's most holy place, the world's greatest mosque, Masjid al-Haram, the building network was created as part of an initiative to refurbish the city and cater to pilgrims. The large complex includes residential apartments, hotel rooms, a conference center, a large prayer room, a five-story shopping mall, a museum, and a lunar observation center to see the moon during the holy months. While the collection holds the place of the third tallest building globally, the skyscraper's clock face, designed by German architect Mahmoud Bodo Rash, is the biggest in the world. Number 2. Shanghai Tower, Shanghai, China 632 meters or 2,073 feet And yet again, we land in China as the tallest of the megatall sky skyscrapers in the core of the Shanghai's Lu Jiaozui financial district. The Shanghai Tower took eight years to develop and is the second tallest building globally. It was completed in 2015. Though it was not unveiled to the public until 2016, American architect firm Gensler designed the building with Chinese designer Jue Sha managing the design team made up of nine columnar buildings stacked on top of each other. The tower has a total of 320 hotel rooms as well as retail ranges, restaurants, cafes, and gardens. The building swirls as it rises and has public spaces holding 360 degree views of the city for visitors. It undoubtedly has a wonderful structure and a beautiful one. Number 1. Burj Khalifa, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, 829.8 meters or 2,722 feet. And obviously, you know which skyscraper we have at number 1. The renowned Burj Khalifa in Dubai has been the world's highest skyscraper since it was completed in 2010 10 with 7 acres of parkland and 163 floors. The structure holds 30,000 residences, 9 hotels, 19 residential towers, a shopping mall, and a 30-acre artificial lake. The building is part of the long-standing action of the government of the United Arab Emirates to modify the economy from being entirely oil-based to a more service-oriented and tourist-centric economy. The designer of the Burj Khalifa, Adrian Smith, is currently operating on the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia, which will open in 2017 and is said to be the first building on this planet to reach a full kilometer. With this, we come to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If so, we would appreciate a like and subscribe to Mega Projects and Skyscrapers. And if you are planning on skipping the subscribing part, it's your loss. So, stay subscribed and stay tuned for more.